Hey folks, welcome to Solar Punk Station where we're building regenerative futures. I'm Navar and today I'm going to tell you about my Rad Runner Plus, its kickstand braking, and what Rad Power Bikes did about it. There were some comments on my last video regarding Rad Power Bikes customer service and whether it was uh, good or maybe not so much. Um, your mileage may vary, but I wanted to uh, give you all my two cents on this. Uh, so I was sitting in my living room one day and it was getting pretty windy out. I heard a crash out the window and my bike was on the ground, which wasn't the first time this had happened. I'll occasionally have my bike out front before I'm going to go on a ride later. And so I went out to go see what the damage was. And I got out there and before I got to the bike, I looked down and there's a kickstand sitting on the ground. Like, well, that's not good. So uh, I went and looked and the kickstand had sheared off of the kickstand mount, which was not fantastic. Uh, so I went and contacted Rad Power Bikes. I wrote them an email. Uh, in my last review, I think I mentioned that I was not a super huge fan of the kickstand and thought it was kind of kind of weak. I sent them an email. was like, hey, my kickstand broke. This is not cool. Are you guys going to fix this? Because this bike is only a few months old. They did email me back. They were apologetic, which was nice. I also asked whether the Rad Runner 1 kickstand would work on it. I didn't think so since this bike is a teensy bit wider to fit the, the gear changing stuff and they confirmed that. It does not indeed fit, which is a disappointment because I really want a more sturdy two-legged kickstand on this thing. Um, but Rad Power does not offer that as an option. Ray got back to me and sent me a replacement. I got it a while later in the mail. Uh, I was able to put it back on. Uh, it took me a little bit, but the bike was out of commission while I didn't have a kickstand because I wasn't sure what the parking situation would be where I was going to want to ride around in town, so that kind of sucked. Um, in the end, Rad more or less made it right. So I feel like this kickstand is still definitely the weakest part of the bike. I haven't had any further issues with the kickstand braking though. And since I have a son now, he is not quite old enough to ride, but when we start riding together, I do not want to be out relying on this uh, flimsy little kickstand to hold him up, even if I am standing next to the bike, which is what a friend here in town does. So I'm looking for alternatives right now. Uh, right now, the rolling jackass looks like it's pretty top of the heap, but is pricey. So we'll be we'll be looking at that. If you all know of any good alternatives for this that are good sturdy kickstands. Uh, that don't require me to buy a new bike. I know that the Rad Wagon has a pretty sturdy one and a lot of the bigger cargo bikes do, but I'm not in a situation where I can really get a new bike right now, especially since I just got this one last year. It's maybe a year old now. So let, let's stick with this bike as long as I can. And please let me know if you know of any good kickstands out there that'll fit it or any ways to maybe fuse one. Something like the Turn Atlas or the Yuba Roots kickstand would be fantastic. I don't think either of those fit any other bikes though. They're pretty vehicle specific, if you will. But something like that would be fantastic. So I'm keeping my eye out and I will let you all know if I find anything. So as far as Rad Service goes, they did replace the part when it broke and at least were standing behind their product that way. I had an okay experience. I don't have anything to complain about with customer service there. I just have complaints about maybe the engineering department and their choice of kickstand. So again, your mileage may vary. It seems like people's experiences have been very inconsistent. Some people have had great experiences. Some people have had really bad experiences. So again, your mileage is gonna vary. I think the COVID bike boom has really caused a lot of growth in the bike industry from my understanding, but I think it may be some inconsistent growth just because everything's been happening so fast, both manufacturing and customer service wise. Some people suggest don't go with Rad because their service was not good for them and I've had an okay experience, but I will keep you all updated as I hopefully don't have to contact them again, but as the bike ages and how the parts hold up and everything. Anyway, feel free to sound off in the comments about how your experience was. Let us know how you felt about it. People who don't have a bike or think about a bike can 
Take it as it is. Have a good one. Let me know in the comments below how you felt about uh, if 